welcome back to art. Um, today we're going to be recreating a painting in the style of Henry Rousseau. This is our third lesson. Okay, so I've chosen the painting The Waterfall and this was painted in 1910. Now here we have the whole painting, but today I'm going to focus in on a smaller section so that we can kind of get the detail. Now when you're painting along at home, you can choose to do the whole painting, you can choose to do half the painting, or you could choose a very small area in order to recreate your own version. Now, last week we touched upon there being a background, the ground, the middle ground, and then the foreground where the detailed plants and animals are. So in the background, we've got the plain sky. Now this might be a yellowy tone, it could be blue or gray. And in the foreground, we have those beautiful bright plants, which might be pinks or bright greens. And we also have the different animals that are focused in the painting. Now, I'm going to start by painting the background. I'm going to do it on my computer. And also, I have shown you, and I'll add the information in, had some different varied ways of creating this at home. So I'm going to start by selecting a pen tool on my computer and you might be able to do this on a software like paint and I'm going to paint the background. Now this is quite difficult to do on a computer neatly but if you take your time you'll be able to kind of get that detail and the nice colours. You might want to add a few different colours, maybe some grey kind of blend your colours together to create a lovely background for our painting. Now you do not need to paint from the very top to the very bottom in a very bright thick colour. When you get towards the bottom it can be blended out as you're going to cover this with lots of different pictures and paintings on top with your foreground. Okay, so you might want to use chalk, paints, food colouring. There's lots of different ways that you can create these colours at home if you do not have a massive art supply like we do in school. Okay, so for the background, we need to create a light um, kind of wash on the page. Now, I'm very aware that not everyone is going to have lots of different paints, lots of different pencils um, available. So I've kind of had a look around my classroom and found a few different things that we can use and that you might be able to recreate at home. So I'm going to first start off with some oil pastels. Now, I found a very small orange one and a little bit of brown. I'm going to start at the top, just kind of rubbing it sideways to create my sky and I might want to go in with my finger and just smudge it out a little bit and then kind of gradually maybe get a little bit darker towards the bottom and continue to smudge out with my fingers. Now this will give us a nice kind of sunset effect that we can use at the back of our painting. Now, obviously, I've done this very quickly, so I've not gone all the way to the edges, but I would like you to go all the way around and across your page. The second option, I have found some watercolours. Now, I'm going to take a paintbrush and some water and my lid, and I'm going to select this orangey colour and kind of create enough paint so that I can start to kind of wash over the background. Now another option if you haven't got any watercolour paints is you might have some food colouring at home or you might have some different coloured papers that you could try and extract the dye out of um, by putting a little bit in water. And there are lots of different ways that you can make paint or colours at home um, just to kind of help you create this background colour wash.
Okay, so that's my second option. Now the same, I've got some kind of more poster paints here. You might want to create um, a little bit of a yellow background. So you want to make lots of paint. You could have uh, poster paints or um, these kind of paints that you put the water with. And you're going to paint over, adding more water to kind of help smear it out. Fantastic. My third option is I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm going to put lots of water on it and kind of get my page wet and then use a felt tip pen and just kind of very carefully kind of go over the background and create some colour. Might use a little bit of a red one, make it a little bit pink and as you add more water to the page the ink will um, kind of smear creating and bleed and create kind of a colour backwash. Okay, so use any kind of colour that you can kind of find around your home, whether that's food dye or you might be lucky enough to have some different paints or pencils and, and create a colour backwash. In the foreground of the picture, we are going to create um, some different leaves and plants. I have chosen to use a felt tip pen for this just because I think it's going to give me the easiest kind of control over the plants that I am drawing. I'm still looking at my picture and I'm going to pick out some of the different plants that I can see and we're going to create them. You can create them kind of as a block and then cut out or you can create them separately and then kind of stick them on top of each other with glue later on. So I'm going to start with some different kind of grass like leaves. And then I will colour those in. Once you have coloured them in, you might want to add a little bit of detail with a different colour. Using lots of bold lines. You might also have some coloured paper at home where you can draw out... some plants and then very carefully making sure that your parents know what you're doing or your carers know what you're doing and then very carefully making sure that your parents or carers um, kind of know what you are doing you're going to cut out this plant Now it doesn't matter if you aren't cutting it perfectly because that will give it the effect of different leaves and you can always turn it over and hide your drawings on the back. So once you've got a few different plants, you might have some different flowers, lots of different leaves, the different trees that you can see. Once you've got your foreground, you're going to find your background. 
and start layering them on top. I have now laid down and glued down all of the different flowers that I have chosen to recreate. Just put a little bit of PVA glue or um, Pritt stick on the back and I've glued them down so that they are creating this kind of foreground. We can see the detail. Now you can add as much or as little. Uh, looking at the picture, you can see that they are layering on top of each other. So you might want to start working at kind of that middle ground and then working your way forward to the foreground. Now, I have decided that I'm going to leave this space here for the deer that are in the picture that I have looked at and I will draw them and stick them down here. Um, but I'm going to leave it there and you can make it as creative as you would like. I have drawn a very quick kind of uh, foreground for you. I've picked out some of the key foliage. I've got like pinky purple leaves down here. I've got these um, funky looking plants at the back here and I've got lots of the grass growing. Now this is a very quick draft and I expect that you can do a lot better than I can. So I hope that you create using lots of different things that you have around your house and I look forward to seeing lots of the pictures.